Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Sally Pinto and I'm from the Yonkers North, neighborhood naturally occurring retirement community. We launched back in January of 2020 and we're here to serve seniors 60 plus in Northeast Yonkers. We have lots of fun programs and activities and we also have a lot of resources for you as well. Our programs include meditation chair yoga, uh, body mind fitness, bingo, and any other programs that you might be interested in, like arts and gardening. We have our resource specialist, Alexis Smith, who can help you with finding services and activities out there for you, as well as our nurse, Barbara Simone, who can help answer your health-related questions. We're here for you, we're here for our community, and we look forward to seeing you in our programs. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. I'm Alexis Smith, the resource specialist with the Yonkers Mark. I'm here to help with application assistance, referrals for home delivered meals, and transportation services will be coming soon. We also um, offer Zoom activities and Zoom programs. And if you have any other questions or concerns, I'm here to help. Thank you so much and enjoy the program. Welcome, I'm Barbara Simone, registered nurse. I recently retired from Westchester County's health department as a public health nurse. I am now here to try to assist you with any medical, or preventive care issues. Enjoy this program, and I'm looking forward to working with you. Kelly, Z, Barbara, Mary, and everybody else who joined us, uh, thank you very much for joining me again on Wednesday. Wonderful to be here with you, and let's get into working out, waking up our bodies, hydrating, staying healthy as we go throughout our day. So let's start at the bottom of our body today, and we can start by just Shaking or smacking, giving your leg, legs a little bit of a tap. Get the blood flowing to them. And then switch legs. And then we'll bring that right leg up, put it over the left, and we'll get an outer hip stretch. We just lean into that here, leaning forward and breathing. Paying attention to our breath. It's starting to feel like fall weather out here. I can, I can see the pumpkins coming in the near future. Cobwebs are on their way, witches and ghosts, all that stuff, right around the corner. Okay, and then we'll switch legs. You focusing on the breath, deepening that stretch a little bit. Try not to think about candy corn and little sweets, candy cup, covered apple, all those good fall things, apple cider donuts. All right, let's come on out. Now we'll get into an upper body twist. So let's reach behind us, hold on to the leg, hold on to the chair, and we'll hold here 30 seconds, breathe in deep. Feel the breath deep in the stretch in this position. And we'll switch sides.
and let's slowly roll our shoulders backwards. You can have our hands on our knees, or you can have your hands out in front of you, whichever you like. And we'll roll our shoulders backwards 10 times. Pull them as deep as you can into your back on each rotation. All right, same thing going forward. And we'll spend a little bit of time loosening up our neck muscles. So let's get that left hand, the right side of the neck. And then we'll bring that hand down and rotate our neck three times, three times each direction. Right hand into the left side of the neck. find any sticky spots on those neck rolls, spend a little bit extra time, wherever that is. I always love feeling the difference between when I start this neck roll or this neck massage and roll. Second one, the first one, first roll, the first three rolls each way, always feels a little stickier on one side after Side. So I really can tell that something's happening. All right, we'll bring our hand down and three times each way. Side already feels looser. Well, for today's workout, we're going to go back to some of the exercises that we've been doing in the past. We're not going to be laying on the ground. We're going to be sitting in the chair and standing behind the chair. And instead of doing a full range, we're going to do partial range movements for everything today. So when we do our sit to stand, we can just be here. You can go down and then up just slightly and then down and up just slightly. If you want to challenge yourself, make it a little bit more, a little bit more difficult, you can pulse right here. So that will be the first one. Second one will be reaching up overhead with both arms and slightly pulsing. So not all the way down, just here. Find that end range where you can almost get your arms totally straight, pulse right into that. Right after which will be, after which we'll be reaching across our body and twisting, holding one side, 20 seconds here. Then we'll twist and hold the other side, 20 seconds here. And finally, we're gonna do another ab exercise. So we're gonna have our hands behind our head and you can pulse into that spot where you can feel the squeeze of your core up and down. So we don't need to go all the way forward. We can just be here, find a nice squeeze. Breathe into that spot. All right, then we'll come behind. Holding onto our chair or a bench, whatever we have. Spend 40 seconds for the whole, the whole round, one side of the Cossack squat. So side lunge we're looking at right here. And then we'll switch to the other side. That'll be 40 seconds there. And then we're gonna go forward. We're gonna do a lunge, 40 seconds there. This is gonna be a tough one. This is probably gonna be the hardest one of the day. So we're gonna do 40 seconds here, if you can hold on your chair and go the whole time that's great if you can't that's all right too you can come on up and then get back into it once you feel like you've rested enough then the last one will be on the other side 40 seconds 
lot of leg work today. Hopefully we'll feel a bit stronger, ready to walk around, ready to go for a jog, long walk, something like that later on. All right, so without further ado, you're hydrated, and ready to go. Squat pulses or short squats up and down. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, you don't have to come all the way up, but feel which muscles you're using. You feel your hip flexors, you feel your glutes, you feel your hamstrings and your quads. If any part of them is feeling tight, you want to slow ease into that part. Try to keep your form nice and even. Knees straight out over those middle toes. Squeezing with the inner thigh as much as with the outer. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, after 20 seconds of rest, we'll have our arms up overhead and we'll pulse just like that. If you want to make this one harder, reach up a little bit higher each time. Reach through your shoulder blades. Here we go in three, two, one up and come back down. Work through those shoulder blades, pinch those shoulder blades down your back, up and down. Get those little muscles of the shoulders moving. I spent about 10 hours driving yesterday, so I can feel a couple in my right shoulder flicking over each other. Pull them away from my ears down into my back. I work for you. You might be feeling something a little different. You might be here moving your shoulders. Wherever you are, work it. Push yourself move into those little those little nuances of little disturbances, little tight muscles. And three, two, one. All right. So we're gonna have 20 seconds reaching across. 20 seconds on the other side. Get a little bit more spinal twist. You can hold onto the chair if you'd like, or you can just reach across. It's up to you. It's just whatever feels best for your body. Try not to arch your back as you reach. We want to be reaching with our spine. We want to be reaching with the shoulder. Think about a nice upright torso. Control four. All right, let's twist into it. Three, two, one. Here we go. Switch sides. Ten seconds to go, so you can reach a little bit further. Three, two, one, and come on out. I have a very tight upper back, so doing these twisting motions feels really good. Keep my back from being tight and to hopefully keep yours evenly balanced as well. Get our hands up overhead. 10 seconds. And three, two, one. And squeeze down into our core. Just find a spot where you can feel the squeeze and pulse into it. Right through here, up and down. Squeeze and extend, hold the ab tight. Any little stretch or under tension. When it's really up to you how hard it's going to be. It could be really easy. You could just sit here and relax and move, or you could really push out into your core. Take that breath push it out into your stomach. A lot harder. 
and three, two, one, step it up. Now we're gonna begin first round of the leg torture series for today. Get those legs wide, do about 10 seconds. We're gonna to go to the right first. Go to the right in three, two, one, and pulse. Thinking about your body position, whole time here. So knee over that toe. Think about grabbing with the inside of your leg as much as your outside. Try not to let that knee collapse in or out too far. And don't let your torso come down too far. Only go down as far as you can. Keep a nice tight core, not arching our back, not sticking our chest up too proud. Keeping our nice tight core. We sit down to our hips. Feel this mostly right under here. Great stretch. Definitely a workout for this over here. And three, two, one. Come on up. And we'll switch to the other side. All right, in 10 seconds, we go on to the left. So think about that body position again. Think about the stretch. Try to keep it even. So if you're trying to stretch on one side, find the same one on the other. Three, two, one. And don't forget, follow your breath. Twenty seconds to go. So if you want to make this a little bit harder, you can get a little bit deeper. You holding on to that chair should help you get a little bit lower. Your pelvis is good. Neutral position, arch your back, collapse your back, and three, two, one, come on up. All right, so for this next one, you can have both hands. You just want to turn here and lunge. Or if you want to come to the side of your chair, have one hand on. It's up to you. Go ahead in three, two, one, All right, lunging, lunge pulses. These are tough. Let's see if we can stay down the entire time. Might be tough, but they'll be worth it. All right, see so if you can press out of the heel. Try not to press too much through your toes. So you can press, if this is bothering your knees at all, try pressing or try put, picking your toe up. That might help as well. If it's not bothering your knees, great. So you can go a little bit lower. See if you can go, come over your toe. A whole bunch of different lunge variations. Three, two, one, come on up. Switch side. All right, just 10 seconds. Find our position. And three, two, one. Twenty seconds to go. Go a little bit deeper. Three, two, one. All right. Sit back down into the chair. We got round two coming up. You guys are ready. If you're ready for a challenge, we're gonna try pulsing through this next one. Legs may, might be warmed up. If you can't pulse the entire time, that's okay. But let's see if we can go for a couple rounds. A couple seconds here. Three, two, one. Come on up out of that chair. Up and down. Groove that pattern. This one's not easy. Two, 
20 seconds to go. Keep working, keep pushing. You can do this. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and sit. Ooh. Shake them out if you need. I know mine are starting to feel pretty tight. I will be reaching up overhead. So this time, if you want to think about just moving through your shoulders, not your shoulder blades. Adjust your shoulders, see if you get a different result, different sensation at the end of the 40 seconds. So here we go in three, two, one. Feel any different yet? Twenty seconds to go. Raising the roof right now. And three, two, one, arms down. Be a little bit more out in here, maybe. Well, it's up to you how you're going to feel the exercises, but pay attention. Now we build that mind body connection. All right. Next one. To the side, pulses for 20, and pulses for 20 on that one. And we're going to go ahead in three, two, one, let's reach and pulse. It's a nice shoulder exercise, nice shoulder reach. And I can feel my mid back, feel it pulsing right through the mid back, waking that up. Not too strenuous, but giving it, making it work. Definitely make it over. And let's switch sides. Three, two, one. To our abs for the second time around. We have 10 seconds. See if we can start filling up those lungs with air, filling up your stomach with pressure. And three, two, one. Here we go. Found those abs yet? Are you working on your six pack? It's showing up. Just gotta do a thousand more of these and we'll be right there. Twenty seconds to go. Make them a little bit slower, maybe. Accentuate that feeling. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, let's make our way back behind the chair. Okay, we can wind the feet out. Five seconds. Let's get down onto the right leg again. Three, two, one. Find that pulse, find that spot where you're working all the right muscles. You can feel the back of your right leg this time. Not just the inside of the left, not just the top of the right. So you can feel the back. Push through that heel, maybe even pick up your toe a little bit. How's your breath? How's your breathing? Take a deep breath if you need one. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. 
two, one, and up. Shake it out if you'd like. 10 seconds and we're down on the other side. Three, two, one, and we go. Twenty seconds to go. Ten. Three, two, one. All right, we'll get ready for our lunge. And again, if you want to have two hands on the chair, you want to face side this is all right even if though you're twisting through your upper body that's okay you'll still get the leg in just the right spot but if not you want to be straight on come on to the side my left foot forward first here we go in three two one seconds to go. This is getting tough. Keep pushing. Keep working. Maybe get a little bit lower. We're in the last five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's switch sides. Whenever I get into a good workout, a tough workout, I always go into my head and I just have to focus on staying in the workout. It blocks out everything else. So let's see if we can do that here. Let's see if we can really stress our muscles. Three, two, one, bring it down. And if it's so easy that you can think about something else, so you can go a little bit low. Twenty seconds. You can get even lower. Ten. Three, two, one, and come on up. All right, legs are feeling good now. Okay, we got one round to go. See if you guys can pulse with me again for this round. If not, if you guys sit into the chair, come back up. That's all right as well. Give it your best go. In the next five seconds. And here we go. This is going to take a lot of concentration, a lot of focus to get through these 40 seconds. Without going down. Try not to arch your back. Try not to round your back. Nice straight spine. Keeping that pelvis neutral underneath you. 15 seconds to go. And three, two, one. All right. Great job. Awesome work so far. Now let's give our legs a little bit of a rest. Let me shake them out. And we'll get our hands up overhead. We can pulse either through the shoulder blades or just through the shoulders themselves. It's up to you. Let's go ahead in three, two, one. All right, 20 seconds to go. This one isn't so strenuous that you can't 
keep from thinking about anything else. Maybe it is, but either way, we can do this hard work. We've been working on getting our arms up overhead for a few months now, so should be able to stay up for the rest of these 10 seconds. Let's keep working, stay up overhead, push it. Three, two, one, and down. Right. Reaching across, pulsing. This one feels like more of a stretch, but it's still good for us. It's still good for our back. So let's put our all of our effort into it. And we'll reach across now. And three, two, one. Probably the best exercise here is in the diaphragm, trying to take a full breath in as we're twisted. It's definitely a challenge. Three, two, one, and switch. All right, twist again, and then focus on those full breaths as we pull. Three, two, one, and rest, come on out. All right, for this last one, sitting in our chair, let's find our posture, sit as upright as possible, feet flat on the floor, and we're gonna do an isolation hold. So you can have your hands up overhead, find a squeeze through the front of your core, it doesn't matter where it is, lower, upper, just find somewhere where you can find a squeeze, find some tension, and three, two, one, hold that tension. Breathe into that tension. Breathe while not releasing the tension. It's gonna be tricky. It's a useful skill. Keep working. I can feel my left side holding a little bit more tension than my right, sitting a little bit askew. Either way, keep that breath in here, pushing down, pushing out, hold on to that tension. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one, release to the behind the chair. All right, last four exercises, make them good. Put everything you got into these last four. Let's get our feet wide, we're going to the right again to start. And three, two, one, get down and pulse. All right, can you keep any of that core tension while you're pulsing? Is it easy? Can we go a little bit lower? Guys, keep fighting for it. 20 seconds to go. Last time we're doing it on this leg. You could do it. Keep pushing. And three, two, one. Up. 10 seconds, and we're going down on the left. Go in three, two, one, and pulse. Twenty seconds, and a little bit harder, a little bit faster. Feel that squeeze, hold that core tight. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. All right, let's get into the lunge. Last time, last time on our left leg forward. Make 
this one as tough as we can. Not tough to where it's painful, but tough to where you really feel the blood flow into the muscle. You feel them tighten up. Three, two, one, here we go. We're 10 seconds in. We go a little bit lower. Twenty seconds in, a little bit lower, even still. Ten more seconds, and we're done. Hold it tight, keep going. Got this. Keep finish, finish strong. Three, two, one. Come on up, and we're switching sides. Last time, last leg, last exercise. In five, four, three, two, one, come on down. Ten seconds in. All right, twenty seconds in. Stay strong. Fight through it. 10 more seconds to go. And three, two, one. All right, congratulations. We are done. Come back and have a seat. Shake your legs out. Get some water. And we're just gonna start breathing together. So let's go in for a count of four, hold for a count of four, out for a count of seven, all right? So it might be a little tough now we've got the heart rate going. So let's do our best and just breathe together. So exhale completely, inhale for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, out for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, in for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, out for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two more times, in for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, Two, one, out for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, in for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, out for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release the focus on the breath and softly close your eyes. Bring your mind into the space around you. Feet on the floor, back against the seats, hands on the chair, on your lap. Mind free, open, not making any judgments, not making any decisions, just experiencing being in this moment. And that'll be it for today. So I want to cut this one short in case you have the urge to stay longer. You wanted to stay in that meditation for a bit longer. I hope that you will find some time to do it today on your own or in the next week or two weeks. But other than that, that'll be it. Hi, everyone. This is Z from Yonkers Public Library. Thanks so much to Sally Pinto and Alexis and Barbara from Nork. Thank you to our community partners. 
WJCS, the City of Yonkers Office for the Aging, Westchester County Legislator Ruth Walter, Friends of Crestwood Library, and Yonkers Public Library for making this phenomenal partnership. And we thank each and every one of you for being part of our wellness community. Be well, stay well.